Yeah, dudes, I'm real excited to get into this game. You know, aside from that last drop, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Reminder. Okay, because apparently I have to say this, that there are spoilers in a Let's Play, okay? Especially this one. It's There's a lot of spoilers because I'm playing the video game. So just remember that. Remember that. Don't, don't complain at me and don't complain at, uh, you know... Spike Chun Chunsoft, um, f for me playing a game with spoilers in it, okay? XD. Now we got that out of the way. Alright, let's start up the new game. Okay, if you load, uh, say from the demo version, you will unlock a special reward. Oh hell yeah, dude. What is it? What is my special reward? Uh, 333 mono coins, the nail brush present, and a machine gun skill? Alright. Alright, neat, interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with English, right? English. It's the only way to play this video game is in English, right? We're not, we're not anime. Come on, we can't, I'm kidding. Alright, alright, let's get into it. New game. Uh, <laughs> obviously. Come on, do, we're, we're not, we're not normal. Come on, we can't be normies here. Game starter. Nice shot! Dude, I'm so excited. Let's fucking go! Is this the intro? Hold on. Have we seen this before? Let me turn it up. Wait, is that... Holy shit! I should go offline on Steam! This is just spoiling everything <laughs> from every other tank and on, but it's literally every other tank and on. But there was even yeah, this one too. Feels bad, man, Katoko, dude, Katoko. I'm I'm glad they're not like throwing away the anime like a lot of other people are. They're still keeping it around. Story is not over. Holy shit! A new killing game will begin again. Ooh, ooh, woo, ooh, ooh, woo! What's this? So it is canon to the rest. That's cool. I thought it wasn't gonna be. A lot of people were saying it was like straying away from. Dangan on per the anime and stuff. It was gonna be something completely different. I'm glad it's not. Nice. Oh. Alright, Dangan on per V3, dudes. I'm excited. I am very excited. <clears throat> Nothing. No light. No sound. No form. No voice. No knowledge of who I am. This is some amnesia shit again, right? From like the, the second game or whatever. Who am I? Uh, I'm, I'm Milzy. Hello? Who am I? Uh, uh, I extend a hand. Shit, I should have done the Hearthstone reference. None of your business, dude. We, we can pretend. We can pretend. A hand that belongs to no one. Uh, but I am. To take hold of my existence. Oh. Oh! Cute! Okay. This is us, dude. It's very different from the demo. I thought I knew they were gonna change it up, but I thought it was gonna be like at least a little similar. Similar, I said. Akamatsu. Akamatsu. Were you like in a locker for a while or something? What happened? Uh, hello. Monogatari. I still haven't watched an anime. So she just remembered who she was, right? At the beginning here. Ultimate Revival. Interesting. So, like, I think she didn't remember who she was and now she does or whatever. Dots. Dots. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze. But as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Legs, you know. Never never miss leg day, Kaide. I know, I know that feeling when you can't walk upstairs or, or do basic human tasks. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even brace for impact as the blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. 
<laughs> she fucking hit her head on the ground, dude. Feels bad. Chicken legs. Itai! But thanks to the pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. From zero to a hundred amazingly fast. Kaide, Lord of the Locker Room <laughs> confirmed. Yeah. Ara? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I don't know, dude. Let me just move my camera. I rubbed my throbbing forehead, XD. This, yep. This is definitely gonna leave a bump. Like the little leg or whatever. I looked around. I like this Tofu friendly stream to Kodong to Kodong. <laughs> Massa, ten, uh, a thousand bits. Feels fucking good, man. Appreciate the ten bucks, my man. That that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Boingy, uh, Toko friendly stream. It's something, you know. It's something. This green light reminds me of the Matrix. Maybe that's what they're going for. Toko dong. Thanks for the thanks for the bits, Massa. Again. A, a classroom. Yeah. This is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Our face is just so shocked. We just can't believe what's happening. Hello? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? Yes. Yes, that's all you have to do, Kaide. So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. It, it also did something else, you know. It made me feel like an idiot. So, yeah. Um, okay, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, let's just stay calm and think this through. You know, relax for some puke too. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't dash. Bam. <laughs> Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. Come out of the locker there, silly. You're not the lord of the locker room. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... <gasps> Gasp! It's Snapgear! A boy came st- Did you just assume gender? Hello? Did you just assume his slash her gender? Okay, Craigasm. A normal boy, dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head, a lot of pronouns in here, dude. We just keep, keep assuming genders, you know? Best girl. Mm. <laughs> ah! Yeah! <laughs> he screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and then scooted back. What? Hey there. Huh, who are you? Are you with those other guys? Other guys? Uh, you think you think so? So kana, so kana. I'm not with the other guys. Sorry, I'm a XD. What what other guys? The the people who kidnapped me. Wait, what? It, this is on Nepgear, right? From the demo. This is the uh the detective dude, right? Um, we, we, we gotta, we gotta protect Nepgear, right? With all, at all costs, cause we're gonna need her help. Or his help. I don't know, we're not assuming genders here, chat. K kidnapped? Chotto. Where am I? What are you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do to me? Mm. Nothing, nothing. We're not gonna do anything to you, okay? I swear. I swear, it's fine. Ne. Hey, uh, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. <laughs> Kimi no namai wa? <laughs> eh? Uh, uh, I'm uh, Suichi Sarihara. Okay, nice. I'm Kade Akamatsu. Now, listen to me, Suichi. Is that how you pronounce the name? I'd love it if the characters actually said it, you know. Who did he say? You're not the only one who's confused right now, Barker. <laughs> come, come in as I. 
after making him shut up, I would try. I retraced my steps again. I mean, like, what is there to retrace? You woke up in a locker, you fell on your head, and then you pinched your cheek. That was about all we did. That's right. I was kidnapped too. <gasps> Gasp! No way, dude. Holy shit! That's fucking rape and a half, dude. That's a little, uh... Okay. No one came and helped Kaede. Feels bad. Kidnapped by a naked dude. Feels even worse. Okay, so she got kidnapped before the tragedy happened, I guess? That's pretty fucked up. No one cared. Weird. And then you awoke in a locker. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? I don't know. Probably. I mean, you're waking up in the same location as someone else who has your exact same symptoms? I think, I think so. I think so. Isn't this game in another universe? That's what I was saying at the intro. I thought it was in a different universe, but... You know, the way that they had the intro and everything made it seem like it was the same universe, you know. But maybe they're debating us. You know, we got we got to keep we got to keep our 200 IQ points ahead of the game. We can do it. Clowns, they don't exist. They don't. Like completely new from DO1 and 2. I don't know, we'll see. Ampsy, why didn't you help Kade? God damn it, Ampy Chan. I think that I read from somewhere that it's totally different. I think I read somewhere that as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The winner will get TX to the D. But it's true. They might be trying to fool us. It'll be the biggest debate of all time. Uh, it seems like it. Dots. Aww. Aww. But, but why me? My family's not rich. And I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. XD. Th th there's no reason to kidnap me. Me either. Mm. I'm just a regular guy. Okay. Maybe maybe I was If he if he's calling a guy already, you know, maybe he is he is actually a guy. I just think he's too cute to be a guy, but then I stole folks. I mean I didn't say that. <laughs> I wonder why. Dots. Yeah, I wonder why they bring us to a school. Maybe it's just uh, you know, gameplay. Uh too cute to be a guy? What the fuck? I mean I stole for right? Kappa. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're probably thinking, where am I? No, I'm probably thinking, why are we getting a tutorial? <laughs> well, I can't explain that, but I can give you a basic explanation about the controls. <laughs> Use the LS stick to control the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate. Ah, A button. Use the RS stick, uh, controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the OB button to smack objects around. Holy shit, we get to beat shit up? Nice shot! Who knows? You might find something amazing. Sugoi Dakara! You can always press the LB button to return objects to the original positions. So relax, for some puke too. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for your understanding. Understandable. Have a nice day. If you press the Y button, a mysterious investigation power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can press the the circle with three lines in the middle button to review the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story. You know? You know? I do know. All right. Let's look at a Y button. All right. Hey, do you think we can bang up Suichi? Nope, but we can. <laughs> A fucking hand coming out? Really? Hello? Let me just grab his dick. I mean, no, sorry. No loot, no loot. My bad. Alright. Lockers. Hello? We woke up inside of these lockers. But why are we in the lockers in the first place? That's a good question right there. Let's bang him. Hello? I didn't hear you there, uh, telling the spoilers, streamer. Now I know Suichi is male and it ruined my fantasy. Sorry, but I had to report you. 
Why is there a talk option on his crotch? Did I miss something? No, it's just talk option in general. I just I just put it over his dick. As a little mim. Alright, let's see if I can knock open these barbed wire fences or if I just get hurt. I don't nothing happens, alright. The outside of the window is covered in a greenery and barbed wire. Really, really thick barbed wire. Thick. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Not like this, dude. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but... This blackboard is an also an LCD screen! <gasps> That's something you don't see every day! Holy shit, a smart board? Paw champ! Just one giant touch sc uh, screen? Amazing. Let's break it. Can't break it. Oh, hey! Fuck you, chairs! <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Nicer! Alright, let's get, get rid of all the chairs. You know, I feel like... I feel like there might be good stuff in here. Fuck you, chair. I'm just kidding. That's enough. I'm just kidding. There's a little less... Give me all your coins, dude! Get the fuck over here! Oh my god, last chair. Last two! I didn't know this was a call of duty. Holy shit. Alright. Now that we've, uh, sold your 76 to the entire room, let's talk to Suichi. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I shouted at you earlier. Come in as I. Desho? Ah, no, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in, in something bad, d do you? Nah, we definitely did. We definitely did. <sighs> something bad. What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Well, I mean, we didn't get ourselves into anything. We were kind of just like kidnapped and then stuffed in a locker for a couple of years. So... I don't know, dude. Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. But, that doesn't matter. At least for now. Yeah, there's much more pressing matters at hand. Yeah. Nah. Uh, hey, let's get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Good idea, Kaide. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, good idea. Alright, let's go. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all of our strength. Like, I feel like that's a little overkill right there if we're just opening it with all of our strength. Alright. But then... Dash. What the fuck? Hello? Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Hello? Nanani? Bakemono. Bakemono? Interesting. Yeah. Woo! Ha ha! Forehead. Goodbye. Yeah, Alright, why is there a giant robot outside? You don't have to say it once, it's okay. As long as you're not gonna hurt us, right? Run. Hello? Yeah! Hello? Kaide! Over here! Run! Ah! Holy shit! Thud. 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 Oh. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Okay. Hello? Hello? I'm- don't- don't m mind me. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. I'll just- uh. Hey! Hey! Don't go that way. Over here. Alright. Look at that ass. Holy shit. Run. Can they go through that door? Hold on. Game mechanics. I need to know. No, they can't. Interesting. Loser. <laughs> Alright. What's over here? In this door? Oh. What are those things? 
All right, let's go in this door. Hold on. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, okay. That scared the fuck out of me. I thought it was gonna be like those NA robots and just walk slowly. And it fucking charged at me, dude. Oh my god. As we frantically drove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh my god. Hey! It's everyone else, dude! They're all wearing, like, school uniforms. Oh, the lollies are in her mage outfit. Scared at a children's game. Eh, <laughs> are? Yeah, but there's not just one, silly. So there's like seven of them. Hmm. Hmm. How about we all introduce ourselves? I'll go first. Hello. I'm Kaide. Sure, dude. Go ahead and check. Interesting. Well, obviously it looks looks nearby. It just chased us in here, but you know, whatever. Mama, Anosa, Anosa. I shouted at the at the top of my lungs. The 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 maid girl, right right here, whatever from the demo. Adorable. Look at her hold her arm. Adorable, right there. Uh. Introductions, yeah. Alright. Some of their uh, school uniforms are better than others. Like the, the purple haired dude, I really like his school uniform. But I don't know if I like uh, the, 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 the amnesia guy from the demo, the guy coming up in the middle right there with the blonde hair. It's kind of like all preppy and stuff, it's weird. What, the, the 16 of us? It means that that's 8 doubled? I don't know. 16 high schoolers? Hello? Hey! How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, right. I didn't answer your question. Rantaro, Amani. Amami? Mami, Amami. Okay, Rantaro. Alright, sure. Uh, whatever you say, dude. Uh, um, okay. Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Nah, I think that's all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. Holy shit, does he know? Does he know of the killing games and stuff? If, th if, if this is what you think it is, I forget their voices. What are you, some kind of fucking know-it-all? Oh my god. If you know something, then spit it out for reals. Yeah. Alright, I remember her voice. It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Hi! Hi! Quiet everyone, see me down, see me down, you know, okay. Oh. No, 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 it's it simmer down, you idiot, Baka. Hm. Uh, uh, who, who's that? Who are they? What the fuck? Hello? Thanks for bearing with us, hee <laughs> hee XD. I love it. Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. He's like saluting, hello? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> These aren't monsters, they're exocells. What? So you could they're highly mobile, bipedal weapon platforms. Bipedal? Bipedal? I don't know. Uh, weapons? <laughs> Should we take these for a spin by, by killing one of them? No, please. No. Oh my god, I forgot about this girl. She has the worst faces, dude. The worst faces. It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good-for-nothing commoners, Kona. You're right. 
We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Mm. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Ugh. Uh. But, but please, not not like toothpaste. <laughs> what? Oh, I just imagined it. Oh, I can't handle gore. Ugh. Ugh. Then, what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one, like like string cheese? Ugh. That's not really string cheese. You're kind of just pulling limbs off. It's more like chicken. Isn't it at that point? I don't know. <laughs> Her face is disgusting. Please! No, 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 like string cheese either. <laughs> Wait, we can't kill them with the exosols. According to the schedule, the exosols aren't supposed to show up until later. Why are you showing us then, silly? But we're in the exosols right now. Stupid. Oh, uh, so we are. Yeah. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exosols for our first appearance. Oh my god. Yeah, they had one job. Not, not, and they fucked it up. I told ya, we should have read the script. <laughs> yeah. No, you didn't. I don't know what any of these voices sound like. I'm just reading. Well. Why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, this is like that one anime filler episode in a shonen anime. It kind of is, yeah. Hi, Desu. Monotaro. Monsuke? Oh, Sasuke. Monofani. Monodan. Doesn't, he doesn't talk, does he? Rise and shine! With our powers combined, oh my god. Fucking idiots, hello. One. Two. Are we gonna get it? Th three? Nope. Baited. Dots. Uh, huh? Hello? See, we're out of the exosols. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right? Yeah, right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You punk asses better brace yourselves. Whoa! <laughs> God damn it. And he's just, I like terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. Edgy BGW. No, no, Monokid. You're saying hell too much. It ruins the hellish impact. Nah. Eh? What's hellish mean? I don't know what it means, dude. I don't know what anything means anymore. Music too low? Let me, let me change that. Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I, I have no, no, no idea. Nah. Moving, moving stuffed animals. Uh. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Mm. Moving stuffed animals. Mono Cubs. <gasps> Wait, you guys call yourselves the, the, the Mono Cubs? Gasp! <gasps> Dots. Oh, d don't bother asking Monodam. He, he only talks to close friends. The years of abuse, you know, really done a number on his heart. Feels fucking bad, man. Feels bad, dude. Isn't that right, Monodam? Dots. Okay. Ma Ma Monodam, you, you, you won't even open your heart to, to me? Feels fucking bad, man. He's bullying. Also, lolly legs. In the background. Dots. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. Mm. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatric? I mean, he's like, he's pretty on it, dude. He's pretty on it. Amazingly. 
Gosh, shut up, you. All you reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Uh, actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring, too? I don't know. Mills being a narrator is weird. Is it, though? Is it? Wait a minute. Yeah, I think that maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet. Huh? What do you mean, first memory? Huh? But that should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, th then. Hey, hey, who the hell are you, punks? I don't know, dude. Uh, just 16 random high school kids. What's up? Is he gonna die first? Uh, if, if he says he knows already? Not like this, dude. Are, are there? What do you mean? What do you mean? We're just wondering. Do you guys have, like, ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? Oh, she doesn't remember she's the pianist. Wow. Wow, we. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me either. I don't have anything like that. Okay, so maybe these are just normal kids. Who didn't get anything? Yeah, same here. Weird. Weird. Um, I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Mono Fanny, were you in charge of that? I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of lost at the moment. <laughs> dots. I like the dots, though. The dots that show up over the characters, you know? It makes it a little more... Puts a little bit more emphasis on it than me just saying dots. I love the dots. Nep nap. She's sleeping. Did she seem really tired to you guys? Anyone in chat? Did you guys think she was tired? I don't think she was tired. She's obviously faking it. Hum now, hum now, hum now. Even if she's faking it. She looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Huh. If you say so. Hey. Whisper chat. Uh, anyway. If you guys really are the, the Mono Cubs. Then. Don't worry about us. The real issue is you, sir bastards. Huh? You, sir? Well. The, the issue is putting it mildly. This actually is a huge problem. You've all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? F f forgot? Forgotten? Alright, <laughs> enough of the whisper roleplay. See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Ultimate hunt? So... I'm gonna play the game assuming that the universe is the same as the previous Danganronpas. So does that mean that um, Future Foundation is just trying to wrap up all the ultimate people in one place? So they kind of like took them and tried to like make them not ultimate by forgetting? I don't know. Probably all along if it's a different universe. Um, uh, Ator, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. Uh, the first thing we need to do is for you guys to remember your true selves. <laughs> she, wo she woke up. She woke up. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. Feels good, man. What the? Are, are you awake already? I don't, I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? Huh. How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many friggin' questions? I appreciate that they said friggin' here, you know. We gotta keep it- we gotta keep it a family-friendly stream, you know. A family-friendly spoiler stream. Remember those two points, chat. They're very important. Very important. Yeah. We're not some swift-footed singer who's landed in another future ex-boyfriend. 
dots. <laughs> Why do we show Monodan if he's just gonna say dots? Hello? Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. For real. My favorite genre of anime is Slice of Life, where we just watch generic high school girls whine about stuff. So I'm pretty sure I would definitely love to watch an anime on that. XD. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Oh my god! <laughs> cute and spiffy. Dude! Oh my god, it's a magical girl transformation. This is so lewd, hello? She was nude there for a second. Legs. The fucking backpack. <laughs> None of them have any idea what's happening. Huh? What, 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 what am I wearing? Hello? Mm -hmm. Looking good. Now, you look more like ultimates. Yeah, dude. Magic BTW. Ghosts BTW. <laughs> oh. Ultimates? Really? Next up, the memories you've all been waiting for. Get ready! Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game! Woo! The fucking X across the chest? What does this even mean, dude? What does it even mean? K k k kill killing game? Yes. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember all your amazing talents. This amazing story, Danganron for 3, on this amazing stream, filled with Amazing spoilers will begin for real this time. Kind of upset they got rid of the lolly legs in the background and covered them up. I didn't say that. It's a role player pose? Oh, okay. Hello? Chatty name friends upskirt lewd. Do you want to see? Uh, what? That that was the most jarring thing I've ever seen in my life. Hello? But I will save. Who's gonna bet the flashback like thing will be a motive in the near future? Yeah. That might that might be right. They can't just introduce something and not use it again. Hello? We're back in the classroom now. Dots. On on it? <gasps> Gasp. We're in the classroom. Hello? Dots. Dots. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze. But as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is some... This is some Danganronpa shit here. I mean Danganronpa shit. This is some Steins Gate level stuff going on right now. Dude. Kya! <laughs> I couldn't even brace for impact as the blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Right in the forehead. Eat high. Feels bad. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Like 0 to 100 right there, dude. Are? Huh? Wait. Where am I? Where is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep. This is definitely going to leave a bump. Feels bad. Kaede has huge ears. She does look at them. Oh my god. Cute. Uh, what? I looked around. Hello? Just... A, a classroom? I like it how it's exactly the same. Even after we get our memories back and we get shoved back in a locker, we still fall flat on our face. Yeah, this is a classroom, alright. But I don't recognize it. I don't know, dude. That's a good question. Oh, uh, is this is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. 
But all that did was make me look like an idiot again. Again. Um, okay. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bam. Hello? <laughs> who, who, who is that? Kya! <laughs> Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A, a boy came stumbling out. Are you just going to assume their gender? It's 2017. You can't do that. <laughs> How do you make that noise? How do you make that noise? A lot of people post it as like some meme or whatever. But I don't. I never knew how to pronounce it. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered when he slowly lifted his head. Still a boy feels bad, man. Do we have to talk to you again? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> how, how rude! Don't freak out on me like I'm some sort of monster, Barker! <laughs> uh? Come in as I. <sighs> I'm sorry too, okay? We just have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh! Gymnopedia number one by Eric Satie. Satie? Sadie? Sadie? So, so. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Okay, she remembered, uh, she remembered she was a pianist, so. Rise and shine, her sign! I just said that. You're a monster. Mostly cute. Yeah. Ah! Yeah! Uh, a teddy bear? Uh, Silly. No, it's a monster. You, you can freak out about this. <laughs> I mean, this is the time to freak out about it, yeah. Go! <laughs> I, I don't think she was talking to you, silly. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Barkers. Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. Mm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one at all. I'm gonna say no. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these. Looks. I definitely would have won the genetic lottery. The genetic lottery. But you're a robot, silly. What? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just, like, stuffed animals? Gasp. We're not monocubs. We're the stuffed animals. <laughs> what? Monokid. You're saying your line backwards. God damn it, silly monokid. No, stuffed animals, us. The monokid, cubs, them. He's got- he's lost it. He's lost it. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. It's even worse now. Huh? M mono cubs? How did he break the guitar in half and the strings be set in place still? They're not, like, springing up or whatever. How did he rip the strings in half? That's some hard shit. They're made out of steel. Or, like, wrapped in steel. So, he must be pretty strong. Don't get on his bad side, Kaede. Oh, you've heard of us? No, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals. Ma. As soon as I said that, these monocup things started looking at each other and... Why? Yay, it worked! Oh my god, they wiped our memories. Nice, sir. Whew. Had me worried there for a second. Is that his tongue? Oh my god. It's fucking Toko. No. It's Mono Toko, dude. The fucking tongue. Not again. Dots. 
Hey, uh, worried about what? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Hello? Alright, now, let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotaru. <laughs> He's like a 6th grader helping out a 5th grader, yeah. The Monotoko with chest hair, yeah, dude. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? Alright, uh, where are we? I have loads of questions, but, but for starters, where are we? I called it. This, it looks like a school. Okay, so... This place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, or if you shorten it, the UAGJ. The U U R J J J J U R J. There we go. Uh, the the Ultimate Academy for for Gifted Juveniles? Question mark. Ultimate Academy. I've I've never heard of a school like that. Of course you haven't. This school is made for you 16 Cretans. Aw, we're Cretans. Isn't that just adorable, chat? Adorable. Six, 16? Chatty? Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Huh? Uh, 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 ultimates? You know what? Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prestigious in a particular talent. Implying new universe? I mean, yeah, we still don't know. Basically, the ultimate initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like, a school to go to. Like, Free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility, eligibility, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. At least it's better than the uh, the anime, right? Where they called them Super Dupers. We're the we're the Super Duper Detective, Nepgear. Wow, we. All right. Ultimates is fine. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Students do would do anything for the honor of being chosen ultimate. Like the chosen un undead from Dark Souls XD. Uh, I don't need the explanation. I already know because I I I'm an ultimate. But you know, remember, remember Kaide. Not everyone has played the other games, so we gotta get we gotta get some good exposition in there. You know, for all the other people. Remember, chat, spoilers. Don't forget, don't forget. That means you gotta remember this time. So don't you forget anymore, silly. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent, such a waste. Uh, they, they probably wouldn't forget about it, right? They probably could still perform the tasks. They just don't know. That they do? Does that make sense? No? I'm just gonna keep playing the game. Huh? What do you mean, for forgetting? I mean, you probably wouldn't remember because you forgot. Because you can't remember what you forgot, so you forgot it anyways. But you remember it now, so it's fine. Shut up! Quit your, quit your yapping and get started already with the killing game. Get, get started? With what? Why, exploring this academy for once. Of course. Oh. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other ultimates. Cause, you guys are all gonna do an activity together later. Or, an activity they say. Mm. Awesome! I've got a rager right here! <laughs> well... Well then. How so long, bear well. Ah, uh, they they left, but I still had so many questions. Hmm. 
dots. Yes, this isn't a dream, right? No, but, but, but I wish it was. Feels bad. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said that there were 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? I mean, yeah. So maybe this guy is actually a guy, right? Maybe he's actually a guy because he came out of the lockers with like not his original memories, right? And he said he was a dude. So maybe he actually is a dude and not just a really flat chested girl, which feels bad, man. Fuck you, chairs. I'm not gonna do this again. Let's see if anything changed, shall we? Fuck you, chairs. Get out of here, dude. This is my classroom. All right, let's talk to Suichi now. Um, uh, are you an ultimate student too? <laughs> yeah. Well, then. Saihara Suichi des. Ichiyo, cho koko kyu no tante. Listen, the ultimate Nepgear has returned. We have a Nepgear again, boys. It's not like Danganronpa 2 where we never really had a Nepgear. This is our Nepgear. Suichi Sarihara, uh, ultimate detective. What? You're a detective? Sugoi! Yep. Ah, uh, no. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and and now p people call me that. I mean, that's pretty amazing on its own, right? It's pretty amazing on its own. Mm -hmm. Not not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, dude. Yoroshikune? Kaide Akamatsu. Cute. Oh, the. Oh, XD. Well, no one calls me the, the ultimate pianist. You, usually just piano freak, you know? What the fuck? This is... I mean... It's just the drawing looks so weird! It's so weird, dude! Piano freak right here, dude! Hey! Want a trophy! Feels good, man! We must, okay? We must protect that smile, chat. There's on there's only one thing to do. We gotta we gotta protect the smile, boys. <laughs> that's all I'm good for, but that's pretty impressive, you know. The piano is a hard instrument. But this is my first time meeting another ultimate student. No. Well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. But they're difficult to find. Etto. Yeah, I guess so. So this must be a different um universe, right? Because if they were ultimates, then they would know about Hope's Peak Academy, right? At least a little bit. They would have heard about it or something. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were, were, we, were we kidnapped? Yes. If so, then is some organization out there trying to, trying to kidnap all the ultimates? I mean, maybe, but only 16 seems kind of low for all the ultimates, you know. Uh, about that, I, I don't remember. Huh? Y you don't remember? I guess she doesn't remember either being abducted or whatever. I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker and I don't know how I got there. Interesting. 
Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, didn't they say in Danganronpa 1 they picked every ultimate and put them in a school? I mean, you have to get invited to the school, right? They didn't just pick every ultimate, but they were pretty good at it. They were really good at picking ultimates out. Like, they got Toko, who had a second personality and invited her as, like, the ultimate serial killer, wasn't she? Or ultimate writer. And then they got the ultimate um, disguised guy. The ultimate doppelganger and stuff. And he didn't even have a name, so I don't know. Spoilers, chat, BTW, remember that. There's not just spoilers for Danganronpa 3 here. There's spoilers for Danganronpa's 1 and 2. Public service announcement. I promise I'll stop looking into, into the camera now. It's like, that memory just fell out of my head. It's like, just pulled it right out. That whole wizard Harry Potter shit they do, you know? I haven't watched Harry Potter, but... You know, they just pulled it out. Actually, I watched like the first four movies or something, but I haven't watched the latest ones. Oh, it's so, the so same here. Uh, Are? Anone? I, I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying just so hard to remember. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh. K Are you okay? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. We got put in some chamber. I guess it kept us in like a stasis or whatever until You know, it was time for us to come out of the closet or whatever and then they had to stuff us into the closet That's my guess Damn. It can't be co coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us Etto. I mean yeah, it's definitely not a coincidence there, not at all. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, you know, prob probably not a big deal. Oh, Kaede. Oh, Kaede. So cute. So innocent. It's a big deal. I mean, apparently the guy wanted to stay away from Danganron for the anime, right? So he decided to just create a new game in a different universe. I think that's what I read. I think. But... Maybe they're just debating us, you know, maybe this is one big debate and This is actually the continuation. That would be amazing. I mean, you can't really continue the story with that DO3 anime ending <laughs> Ellie giggle Neh? Oh, yeah. oh, it's so cute <laughs> We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ray Ravel's sauna team <laughs> Okay, we need to get her to a piano, like, really quick. Is that... music? Uh, I don't really know much about music. Do you know anything about anything? I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Ultimate pianist, BTW. Should have called them the Super Duper Hooper Group. <laughs> Aw, that would have been cute. Yosh! But first, let's look for a way out. Yeah, buddy. And if there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So we'll see, we'll see. The winner will get TX to the D. Yeah, good idea. Obtained friendship. Aw, chat! We got a friendship fragment. More friends than in real life feels bad. You can leave the room by pressing the B button, or when interacting with the door. Okay. Hold on. Fuck you, chairs! Get out of here! Give me your coins! We can try to grab his hand, I like that. The auto-aim in this game is actually, like, atrociously bad. I can't lock onto anything. It's really hard. So I hope they don't do any, uh, any aiming stuff here. I swear to god, that would be terrible. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants going around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? An overrun, abandoned one. Definitely would make me feel like that, like hands down. Sweet cheese. Are? Are? Sometimes, 
when I have a bad day, I just put my cursor over Suichi's hand and pretend like we're holding hands. Yep. Yep. Feels good, man, dude. Ah, I just felt something in my pocket, in the pocket of my uniform. And, and when I looked, I found this inside. Is it some kind of mini tablet computer? It's an iPad, boys. Hold the phone. Hold on. There we go. Oh, uh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Yeah, we got another one. The word monopad is written on it. Is it black and white? Just like the monokuma? When did this get in my backpack? I mean, why are you asking that? You woke up in a locker, silly. My name was displayed when it booted up. Like a student handbook. I... I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Yeah, detective dude. Lead us to victory, Nepgear. Let's just hold on to them for now. Mm. Hi, Desu. Boop, 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 boop. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press the X button to open up the monopad. Okay. Stuff like a port card, map. Let's check it out. And if you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed by getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. <gasps> content? Stream content? Feels good, man. But since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Sarihara, his info has already been added. And I bet you've already noticed, you can level up by performing actions. We're level two, boys. Look at that. Look at that shit right there. When you level up, your skill slots increase, so you can equip even more skills. Hmm. The lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's some important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game in the handbook. Bon champ. Alright. Off you go. Find your classmates. Hi! Alright, let's go look around, boys. Uh, classroom C. Alright, it's locked. He won't open. Let's look somewhere else. Alright, hi! Sodane. I like it how we can roleplay in this game. It's everything I wanted out of a Danganronpa game, you know? The, the ability to roleplay. Oh, wait a minute! Is this a music room? Oh, oh. Locked. So oh. close, but so far. She can't play her music, dudes. Huh? It won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. Aw, feels bad, man. Kinda. What? Can you guys relax, please? Horizon Shine, Earth Sign. God damn it. That actually kind of spooked me a little bit. Ah, they're here again. Nah. What do you think this place is? Check it out! All this fancy shamsy writing! Seems like a place for eggheads! Eggheads? Eggplants? Huh? Isn't this a an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic and stuff. Oh, come in as I. Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? Why? Interesting. One. We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents. So we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist's lab. But we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden though. But, but we found ours. Which is the only thing that matters. By the way. The reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry. We'll hustle to get it all ready. Aw. We couldn't... We, basically, we just can't go in there because we're still in the prologue, boys. Just wipe your asses and wait? What? What the fuck does that mean? That's good advice and all. But don't you mean... Hold your horses? Or like wait, like normal people. I don't get it. 
poo poo poo. Mono Kid is such a dummy. Such a dummy. Barker. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mono Dam. Stop the bully, dude. Stop the bully. Dots. Aww. Poor Mono Dam, dude. Matinee! It seems like the music room. But I guess it's an ultimate lab. Do you think there are, like, other rooms like this? For everyone? Um... I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. Aw, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well. I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Yeah, dude. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Ooh. Hey, ya. Uh, bronze dragon statue. Hold on. It's like something in the eye. What is this? What is that? That was a nice little fade effect to the character. Alright. It looks like a dragon statue. Yeah. But... Why is there a dragon statue in the school's hallway? Yep. I I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's a part of the school's uh, official art collection or something. Wait, is it actually a spoiler that the detective is a chick or just a meme? I mean, she's very feminine looking, but we don't actually know yet. I didn't read any spoilers. No, I don't know anything about the game. So anything I say is just memeing, you know. But remember, this stream has spoilers in it. He better be capified. Otherwise, I think a dude is cute. That's not... Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, still, no idea. Look, there's like a gem in its eye, and it's kind of shaped like a beach ball. There's no way that they would put that much effort into the eye of the dragon. When it won't come in handy later, you know. I have, a, I have a feeling that that's gonna be very important later. How are you today on this neptastic evening? Oh no. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Ah oh no. Hmm, did you not hear me? Okay, then. Hey! Hello! Oh no! What? What? She still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. <gasps> a mannequin? Wax? Yep. No. Uh, no. I don't think that's the case. Mm -hmm. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. Silly. But she's talking. So. But the moving teddy bears did talk as well. Ooh. I don't know. As I said that, I poked her cheek. I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Dude. Oh. Aw. God damn it. P poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. Poke, poke. Ah. No. Thanks. Aw. He's blushing, dude. <laughs> Just do it. It's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. Ora, ora. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. <laughs> both sides poking. Mm. <gasps> ah, yeah. So, <laughs> so she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Choto. God damn it. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Memes, dude. Just for the memes. Because she wasn't responding. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So deep. So deep. Mm. I thought if I ignored you, you would go somewhere else. God. What? Rude. Rude. You, you were ignoring us. Isn't that... A bit rude. Yeah, it is kind of rude, yeah. Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when 
when they don't want to? I mean, in fairness, you could have just said, no, I don't want to talk. I'm okay. Swerve. But I don't know about that one. Oh, but, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Weird. Yes? Now, let's talk. What do you want to start with? My favorite, my favorite toy arm episode is, is number 53, and the one with the security cameras and the target practice. <gasps> unmod me so I can vanish? Yeah, you can unmod yourself if you want to, dude. No one, I'm not forcing you to be a mod. X to the D. Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Ah, my Oh, she's the cosplayer, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Sumugi Shirogane. Okay. So, you're a cosplayer. Uh, are you so surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. Kaide. Little hand on the head action here. Just doesn't know what to do. Feels weird, man. I mean... It sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy awe about... Mm, little, little sexy awe chat. I bet it's because you got people oogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Look at her. She's, she's like, yes, I have figured it out. I, I, I am the ultimate detective now. I mean, that's what everyone else in chat was doing, right? Massa, I'm looking at you. Touch her boobs to confirm. Baka. Kaide, you sound like a creepy old man. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, I don't really like the people looking at me like that. But, uh, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But, 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 but lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves be before their characters. God damn it, so close. So close. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than, than give them to people like that. Mm. Wow, you're, uh, you're pretty intense. Toko Volume 2 right here, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. She just doesn't have the tongue thing going on or, you know, the, uh, the crazy psychopath thing going on. But, you know, pretty much Toko Volume 2. It makes me happy when, when I get to show the people the, uh, the outfits I made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use all the materials that are just too plain expensive. I mean, yeah, we knew this already from the demo. That she gets a lot of, like, cash from her sponsors. That's so cool, you know, to have sponsors for making cosplay. Eh? Eh? Well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Mm. It's, not a, it's not a big deal. People just crowd around me like I'm a panda at the zoo. I mean, a lot. They're just really, you know, complimenting the cosplay. I, I go to cons a lot, like you guys know, and you know, really good cosplays are just surrounded all the time. There was this amazing Kill la Kill cosplay, right, from Ry Ryoko or whatever, but she had to have like her own personal body bodyguard. Around her at all times because you know what the killer kill outfits are like. The amount of dudes that were just coming up to her and like doing shit really did feel like she was at the like a panda at the zoo. It was weird. Ah, oh, Goy. You're, you're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Yeah, yeah, she is. She probably has like a ton of Instagram followers and like YouTube and Twitch followers and stuff. Amazing. Anusan. <sighs> Is it right if I asked you something, too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What is it? So, so. Oh, yeah. We need to hear that. We need... Uh, oh, yeah. We needed to ask her that. Nice job, Suichi. Nice uh, Neat. Ah, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Me too, actually. Weird. Weird. Anosa. Anosa. It, it almost seems like it, it's floating, right? Th doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah, yeah, it does. Really out of place. Mm. Now that you mention it, you're right. It's 
sort of bothers me too. Yeah, it's like a school, but it has like a dragon statue in it. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Th th this is a school, right? B but, but everything here is so weird, isn't it? Yeah. That there's trees and glass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. I mean, no. There were 16 of us, but I guess the mono kids didn't give her the same spiel they gave us. Interesting. Are we g going to be t Daishobu? Uh, are we going to be able to get out? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Thoughts? <laughs> Kaide? What's wrong? Doste? <laughs> no more! That frightened look on her face was, was sort of sexy. <laughs> that wasn't... That wasn't where I thought that sentence was going to go, in all honesty, but... Hey! Kaide, if, if you, uh... If you like that, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be a good and dandy. Oh, oh good and dandy there, chat. <laughs> po positivity vibes. <laughs> You're p p pretty optimistic, Kaide. Kaide is gay. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Ah. So, so. Bullying won't get you anywhere, you know. It's better to just be carefree. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. Kaide is me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. But, 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 but being all depressed won't help anything. Mm. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Yeah. yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Obtained friendship fragment, boys! Woo! <laughs> Sumigi, uh, Sumugi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Nice, uh... Alrighty then. Where are we going? Hey. Hey. For every Danganronpa game, you know, I've always wanted to go in the girls' bathroom. And now we get to. In an actual Danganronpa game. Feels good, man. This is the girls' bathroom, right? Suichi, do you mind waiting here? Uh, mm. 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 I still, I'm still thinking, you know, Suichi's a girl, but I don't know, dude. I mean, that blush, you know. Ma, don't give me that weird look, Parker. I'm just gonna double check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Come in as I, Desho. Please. Come in as I. Alright, hello. Oh, there's no one in here. I thought there was gonna be people with stuff. Oh. The toilet seemed normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. It's almost like no one's cleaned in forever. Alright, what we got in here, dudes? Can we, like, destroy anything? Can we destroy that window? How about these sinks? Oh my god! Hey! Get out of here, sinks. What about this? Oh, oh my god! Fuck you, windows! Fuck you, plant! How about the tr toilet? How about this thing? How about this door? How about these doors? Okay. Is there anything else in here? Just the monitor. Alright. That's like 60 years of bad luck right there, dude. We broke like seven mirrors. We're dead. We're dead now. Feels fucking bad, man. Alright, boys bathroom now. Dots. This is this this is the boys bathroom, right? I, I can't go in there. No no not even in this situation. Dots. So <laughs> Ah, uh, if you want, uh, I could go look. I keep doing his voice song. Oh, but uh, I'm not th th that curious about what's in there. Hola. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Yeah, dude, get in there, Suichi. I mean, maybe he is a actually a dude. Maybe he is actually a dude. And he's just, you know, playing up the shit. I don't know. Actually a dude. 
not a girl feels bad. Wait here a minute. With that, Suichi opened the door and walked inside. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. Soka. Soka. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe they do. Alright, let's go through here systematically. Let's start at the end of the hallway and make our way back. Right, never mind. Let's check this classroom out. We'll, we'll search this floor first and then we'll go to new places. Oh, hey! Oi! Oi! Hey! Wait for me! Please stop! Don't come any closer! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. This scene is exactly the same as the demo, except in a different location. What's happening here? Nani, nani kore. Nani kore wa. Kore wa desu ka? Please stop! Don't come any closer! <laughs> Ma, wait up! Let, let me let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Robot friends, dude. Feels good, man. Masan viewers. <gasps> eh? A uh, robot? What is it? Are you another robophobe? Robophobe. Okay, dude. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Is it illegal to be a robophobe? Is that how this works? Yeah. Wait, you're a robot? Uh, uh, are you for reals? For really reals? A robot? Masaka. For, for realsies? Uh, are you one of the mono cubs? No, I don't think he is. Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. See, he has a normal voice, I know. But, it's just not as fun to say a normal voice for a robot. Recording function would be OP in Killing Court. Yeah, it would be OP in Killing Court. Huh. That is going to come in so handy later. Or, they're going to debate us, and it's going to be fake. Kibo, ultimate robot. Roboto. Ultimate roboto. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Uh, yes, go ahead. Supreme Leader Dasu! Kappa! A robot and a Supreme Leader. Neither of them make any sense. None at all. By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gas. How did you learn it the hard way? Were you, were you be, doing doing lewd things there, Koikichi? Hello? Hello? My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. JK XD! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're not funny, silly. <laughs> of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with, silly. <laughs> they kissed, dude. D don't mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I am a comedian now. I think you should should have just watched stand-up instead of uh instead of studying it. I don't know. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Just like you. Of course. Means he's a villain? Gasp? I don't know. Supreme Leader doesn't really mean anything, I think. <coughs> You're a high school student? <coughs> I was created by Professor Iriabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me a strong AI. Capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. Human brain, BTW. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. This but the professor raised me like I, he was... Sorry, sorry, the voice, 
the voice speech there kind of lost it a little bit, you know. Let's try again. But the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. <laughs> and now I stand here before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Feels good, man, dude. Feels good, man. Hey, do do robots have dicks? <laughs> I forgot he said that. Please do not ask me ridiculous questions about my genitals. Thank you. <laughs> I only asked because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. He <laughs> he XD. Well. I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Well, I mean, like, there must be only one of them, so... Hey, uh, Kokichi, I don't really understand your supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil so secret organization. That's all. N Nami! I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Eh? Majure, the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. <laughs> I like it how they dubbed that. He must say it a lot. He must say it a whole lot in order for them to actually dub that line. Or they could be debating us with Sayaka. Remember Sayaka in the first game? She was like, I'm a... Uh, I'm... What was it? A, um... A shrink or whatever? What are they called? The ones that talk to spirits. I don't remember. And then she died. Rip. Eh? Huh? So you were lying just now? <laughs> oh, my voice! Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Aww. So, were you lying or not? Bonko? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, by, by the way, what is the name of that organization? Oh, oh it's a secret, you know? Because it's a secret organization? Silly. Mm. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Money. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. <laughs> oh. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's got to be a lie too, right? That's show. <laughs> Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He is a far more suspicious person than I am. That's for sure. Don't pay. Don't pay attention to the robot. Robot is not suspicious. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person. Because robots aren't people, silly! Vaka, come on. <laughs> he says silly. He says silly, too. Good. Oh, you mad? Are you, are you gonna uh, hit me with a rocket punch? I don't have that function. No rocket punch. What do we have, then? Do we have, like, rocket boosters or something? At all? Anything? Oh man. You're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. He is. He is, yeah. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. <gasps> Gasp. Obtain friendship token. Hey, friends now, boy. Do 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 do. All right, we got both of them now, right? What else we got in here? Aw, meanie. Bonka. Would you like to leave? No, 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 not yet. Can we... Okay, no, 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 no. My bad. Can we destroy anything else in this classroom, or is it all the same? It's all the same. Alright. Uh, that's the same, that's the same. Let's talk to Suichi. An evil secret organization with over 10,000 members. It's a lie. I don't think you should worry about it. Failfish. Is that is that like a mouth covering thing? Like, I can't believe it, or like a what an idiot. 
I think it's like a mouth coupling thing. All right, let's head out. Maid girl waiting room. Yeah, dude. Oh, hey. It's a you, my dude. Yeah. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? <laughs> I like it how casually he says that. Just like, what's up? How are you? Oh, you both look all right. That's good. That's yeah. good. Situation could be better though. Mm. Yeah, to totally. He's gone. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? No, we don't. We don't remember at all. This guy doesn't remember anything, right? Like nothing at all. Hold on. And if you if you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Your pa. Ha. You're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? No, we remember who we are. I don't think he does, though, does he? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? <laughs> everyone? Everyone? The 16 others of us? Yeah. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. Hmm. <laughs> it's like we all have amnesia or something. Ah, but that's not normal if everyone here has amnesia. Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. I'm not liking his hair at all. It's gone all dark and stuff. N Nani? Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually, you know. Eventually. Yeah. Or... It could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. I mean, this guy may seem like he's crazy and shit, but he's actually the smartest one here. His his 900 IQ is going to see us through to the end of the game. Forget about the, the, the detective and everything. This guy. Hey. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Um... Oh, because he doesn't remember anything, does he? The outcast? What do you mean? Doshite. To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Did he? He must have closed his eyes at the beginning, right? To not see that shit? Weird. Eh? <sighs> I'm in trouble. I know it must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. I don't know. Maybe the mono kids were just bad. Maybe he's like debating us, you know, the entire time. He might be. Might be. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you. But then I forgot. I. I but then I forgot I did. Right? Mm. No. You haven't told me your name yet. Uh, I don't... Yeah, he has actually told us his name. That's funny. Because he's actually forgetting that he did tell us our name. His name. And then we forgot his name. So now he's going to tell us his name again. Neat. Rantra Amami. Maybe he's the... Maybe he's the ultimate chill dude, you know. Ultimate question mark. Nice sir. Uh, for someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Yeah, he seems pretty chill. Is it weird that I'm not totally bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? I mean, remember what we said earlier, right? Remember what we said earlier there, Kaide. You gotta just be relaxed. You gotta be chilled, you know? What's the point in, uh... You know, being bothered about something if there's nothing you can do about it. That is what Kaede said. <laughs> Nanani? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what kind of ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Mm. Ma! Ma! Hmm. Stop that. We'll escape soon. <clears throat> you really think it's going to be that easy? <laughs> Yeah? Well, what do you mean? Yeah. Nothing. Just a feeling. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha hey. Don't worry about it, alright? Dots. 
I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Friendship! Yeah, dude. Report card has been updated. Nice. Uh, Alright, let's start at the back here. What is this? The warehouse. Interesting, interesting indeed. Holy shit, that's a lot of food. Hey, is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Hey, it's you. I actually kind of like this character. Damn it. Oh my god. Where the hell is this? For real. We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Okay. What are you doing there, girl? Hello? Hey, what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch. Oh my god. I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Listen here, girl. I forget your name. Don't call best girl Kaede a bitch, okay? Kaede, Kaede a cutie. Baka. Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk like that to Kaede. White knighting at its finest. Oi. Hey, Crotchrot, you staring at my tits? Oh my god. Uh. Yes? No? No? Uh, what? <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boomed hottie like me. For real. God damn it. <laughs> Go on, get yourself a good iPhone. Chat, she's letting you. Eyes, eyes emoji, <laughs> right up in that shit. No, I wasn't staring. My eyes just ha ha happen happen to look there. You know, she should kiss herself, kiss her Millsy, kiss her. Lewd, Ampsy. It's too lewd right there. Oh, my eyes just happen to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. For real. Ha 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 ha, I can identify perbs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking perb. Oh my god, listen, okay, family friendly stream, you can't be saying fucking and shit, and remember, spoiler stream as well. That's why you're wearing that hat, right, to hide your skeevy eyes, and that's why you wear those pants, right, to hide your nasty crotch. Oh my it's god. But everyone wears pants, though. So. <laughs> You're wearing a skirt, Kaede. What are you talking about? <laughs> everyone knows that only perms wear hats. <laughs> yeah. Dots. He's getting all edgy. Ooh, tilting my hat down. Tips for Dora. Stop it. Stop. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Don't, don't fucking, don't come at my hat, dude. Fuck off with that shit, Barker. <laughs> Aw, don't bully her, dude. Don't bully her. What the hell? Uh, what are you getting pissed at me for? And that's a, tell, tell the world you're sorry. If you startle me into losing motivation, then that'll be a loss felt across the whole world. Bully. Don't bully! Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just, who are you anyway? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? For real? Hey, we got the little hand motion going on there. Miyu? Iruma? Iruma? Fate Ilya? Hello? Miyu? You don't look like Miyu. Oh, that's not how you spell Miyu, is it? Hey, uh, ultimate inventor Miyu. Um, I've never heard of you. <laughs> Smart, by the way. 900 IQ, by the way. So, uh, what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Oh my god. But why does everything involve sleeping? I mean, we waste a lot of time asleep, you know, but we kind of have to get things done during our sleep, like sleep. So I don't know if multitasking during sleep is the best idea, but 
Hey. Cool. I was inspired after I realized just how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though, this one time I invented these really stupid eye job contact lenses as a gang. <laughs> Wait, really? That was your invention? S some of my friends wear them. She, she invented eye the contact lenses? Is that what she's saying? Neat! I drop contact lenses. Like, you drop them in the eye and it creates a, a contact lens? I don't understand what this is. But I feel like it will come in handy later. Right? I feel like this small little sentence right there might come in handy later. <laughs> Your friends sound like tonal plebs. Wow. And that invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure. Just like Yoto. Yeah, they I mean... It's not a failure, but... I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. I mean, at least get some money out of it, right? She probably got rich. She probably got so much money out of that deal. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Is it, though? Is it? By, by the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. Uh, eh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Like, like, healthy meds, right? Like a Tylenol or like an, like an Advil, some ibuprofen, you know what I'm saying there? Like, like healthy, good, good meds. Like for headaches and stuff. Not like, not like, you know, anything else. <laughs> Medicine? Are you hurt or we're feeling sick? <laughs> No, idiot. I need some strong meds because I want to chip my fucking balls off. For real. Oh my god, she just wants to get high. Okay. Can't you get high when you sleep? Miyu, wouldn't you save so much time getting high when you sleep? That's all I'm saying right there, you know? Ah, uh, Kyo. Oh, I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. <laughs> Aw, it's so lewd, dude. Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high? You definitely shouldn't do that. Family friendly stream, by the way. I can't be advocating drugs on my family friendly stream. It's not how this works. <laughs> what the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. <laughs> loosey goosey, what the fuck does that mean? So, so, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity. But she's definitely beyond insane. I like her, dude. I like her. She's adorable. Friendship. I like Miu. Miu's great. Dot. What's up with Suichi? He's been quiet ever since Miu mentioned his hat. Dude, does he not like to talk about it? Hmm. Suichi. Dot. Alright. He doesn't like it when people talk about his hat. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. One day this is gonna come in handy and I don't know what to do then. Alright, food hall. Who's in here? Oh, it's the Molly! This is the dining hall! The dining hall definitely makes the first Ah, it's a Molly! I don't it's anything like a typical school. Shut up! It's a Molly! Uh. Yeah. So, are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But, but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. In a jiffy, dudes. Yeah. I, I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like, this won't make me panic, because I'm a mage. Because I'm a mage. <laughs> BTW. A, a, a mage? Hmm, that's right. 
I haven't told you guys yet. I'll fall to my knees, dude. Praise the ultimate maid, Chimiko. Better than make you mean. Dots. 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 Magician. No. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start, silly. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Dots. Nah. Nah. Ma magic does exist. Because I am a mage. I can't do a good lolly voice. You, you're just a magician, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only on paper. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I am actually a mage. J just a ruse. Jabated chat. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. The magic gathers. Magic lovers gather, dude. Wowee. I was the youngest person ever to win their Magician of the Year award. Yes, you boy. It's all a ruse, dumb me. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for, for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. No one believes me. Bonkers. Man. There. Yoshi, Yoshi. Don't be sad. Here, look. Okay, chat. Act with me, okay? Role play with me. You gotta reach out. You gotta, you gotta head pat Kimiko, okay? Head pat. She's feeling down, guys. Role play. Pat, 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 pat. Nice sir. <laughs> well, you could show us your magic. Then we would believe you. 100%. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Then, then what can you do? I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. That does seem like normal magic right there, Himiko. I don't. I don't think. I don't. Mm. Yeah. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Barker, what are you doing? Obtained friendship fragment. We know what we're doing, boys. We're getting we're getting better friends with her. Oh my god, degenerate males. Otter? Yeah! I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Ah, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. It's what I do every single time before I get on a stream. I just yell. Yell at everything and everyone. Right? Even though I live alone. Hi. I must be prepared for combat at all times. Just in case someone tries to attack. I will protect myself with Neo Akito. Huh. Uh. Uh, Akito? Then you're... Oh, I always imagine Akito Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. Oh, she's so cute, chat. Adorable. Cute. Ah. Yeah, 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 just stop. Ah, I'm not, I'm not cute. My, my face crinkles. My, when I suck down a shake, 
<laughs> when, when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. Um, I see. But I think you're cute. Right, Suichi? Huh? Oh, uh, right. Dots. Ah! <laughs> this fucking face, I can't handle it, dude. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. Oh my god, I don't, I don't like to be praised by the degenerate males. Oh, uh, d degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around men? It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Mm. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, by the way, what is this Neo Akito you mentioned? Neo Akito is an original form of Akito that I that my master and I completely made up ourselves. Okay, so it's fake. It's fake then. So your Akito is all self-taught. Interesting. I like it. I like it how Kaide is just like, oh, okay, okay, whatever you say, dude. <laughs> Those ultimates are weird. Oh boy. Guys, uh, get the fuck out of here, chairs. Is that all we can destroy in here? Just some chairs and stuff. I have a feeling we're, this is the only way to get good mono coins or whatever, and we need them later on. So might as well do a little bit of it now. All right, what is this? The school store. Interesting, interesting. Click, click. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. What the fuck is happening to- Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Hello? Oh. That wasn't just me, right? Why was there a big black line down Kaede's face? Alright. Interesting. Bugs. This was the gym, wasn't it? In the demo, it was. Huh. Hello? Oh, no, that- the gym's down there. So what is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Click, click. Alright. That's, uh... Saw, saw! Okay, cool. I guess there's nothing here. But the gym is down this way, right? Hmm... Is this the gym? Oh, the gym is locked too. Dots. Hmm. What's the matter, Suichi? Uh, it's nothing. I just feel strange. Strange? How so? Like, deja vu? I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> deja vu! I've just been like a bit. <laughs> Dots. We might be caught up in something even stranger than we've imagined. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. But we'll be daijobu. Daijobu. What makes you say that? Because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. Nice joke. Just wait a little bit. Spoilers. They're gonna kill each other. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. There it is. Aw, Kaide. You're so cute, thinking this is gonna work out. Friends. Dots. Aw. Optimism. Hello? What are you? Thought I heard something behind me. It says, Ancient Passport. Is this some kind of decoration? Mm. Hmm. Looks like a puzzle. It's gonna come in handy later, I guess. I don't know. There's an indent in the middle. I wonder what that is. This place seriously has a lot of weird stuff. Alright, that's all the same board there. Interesting indeed. So now we've checked out the whole first floor. Let's go check out 
the bottom floor. I okay. think so. There must be tons more down here. There are stairs here. Looks like it goes down to the basement. What should we do, Suichi? You want to head down? Mm. Yeah, we should. We definitely should, but... Uh, I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. We gotta find out those mysteries in order to be sure that it's safe. Then, let's proceed with caution. With you, at the front. Get up there, Suichi. Be the big manly man you are. Protect the female. Mm. Ah, so... I'm in front. Oh, oh, I see. With hesitation, Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Amsi's basement? The lolly wasn't in there, silly. How could it be Amsi's basement? But it is a basement. It, it, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Nice, nice boys crack there, Millsy. Thanks, boys. So, can I... Ah, well... Some dangers are hidden where you can't see them lurking just below the surface. Eh? Suichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? Yeah. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. Pretty dangerous. Really dangerous. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around in the basement too. Yeah. There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. There might be some zombies too. There might be a little antsy down there. Who knows? Hmm. 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 Hello. Hello. Friendly game room. Ooh. Who's in here? Chiaki. Chiaki. Hello. Are you in here? It looks like a game room, but this is a school, right? Is it normal for schools to have its own game room? I mean, if it's like a game club, I'm sure it would be okay. No. Certainly is strange. Interesting. We haven't... Who haven't we seen yet? We have not seen Astronaut Guy yet. What's going on here? Let's do a quick search. Chairs are still destroyable. Ooh! Oh! That might be really handy. I didn't know you can break, like, actual big things. Alright, so that bookcase was breakable, but that didn't really lead to anything, did it? Nothing else. Alright, let's talk to, uh, the short guy. Sheesh, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Is this guy really, you know, a high school student? He seems like, you know, he's old. Like, 40. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? Must be. Mada, mada, dana. Mada, mada. <laughs> Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then, figure it out yourself, idiots. Don't be so, don't, don't be so sketchy there, dude. Mm. Humma, humma. Danga. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here, compared to prison, anyway. Edgy BTW, Reaper main BTW. <laughs> Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? I mean, he did something bad, right? To end up in prison. The ultimate tennis pro. I really, like, he must be amazing at tennis. Because tennis involves you running back and forth a lot. And just naturally, taller people are better at it, right? Because they can, they have longer strides. So like, this guy must be amazing at tennis, holy shit! Oh my god! Alright. His eyes are dead. His dead ass eyes. Uyama Ho Hoshi? Really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. <laughs> <laughs> took down a mafia with his tennis ability, dude. You, you took down a mafia by yourself? The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. Amazing. Sugoi! What the hell? <laughs> really? Hello? Mm. <laughs> so, you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Edgy. But... 
Why would you throw away your future like that? I don't know, dude. He was famous and he threw away his future. And his ears are really bad. It's just like a six inside it. It looks like those cartoon ears from like Saturday morning cartoons or whatever from ages ago. I don't know. <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Are <laughs> Yeah. No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Alright. Don't worry, dude. We gotta get you the double shotguns, the edgy mask, all black, you know. Is that it? Like Alright, let's go this way. Sliding a door. Click clack. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Looks like it's locked. Mm. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Book room. I mean, a library. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you! As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Mm. Is, is this a library? In kind of some bad shape. Holy shit. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh. Oh, does that bother you? Oh, are you a neat freak, Suichi? Huh? <laughs> She's so excited. Mm. No, it's just... I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Hmm. I mean, I think someone was using the entire building before we were. Like... The arcade machines were pretty smashed up, so... Hey, is this a library? Oh my god. <laughs> huh? S someone? Dorica? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Alright, we'll go talk to Cutie over there in a second. Let's, uh, look around a little bit. That's the rear sliding door. I guess that's the exit. Oh wait, front double doors. Huh. Alright, bookshelves. A lot of books crammed in here, and they're all different languages, too. How is anyone supposed to take a book off the shelf when they're crammed in like this? I don't think you are supposed to. Hmm. Books written in various languages line the shelf. Some of the letters make no sense what languages- Hey! Your language is a bunch of syllables, Japan. You can't say that some of these letters make no sense. Come on, man. These books seem difficult to read, and they're not even written in a language I recognize. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Alright, they said the same thing, but three different bookshelves. Let's talk to Cutie. Dots. Yeah. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Mm. Yes, that's right. Dots. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I'm Kaede Akamitsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm uh, Shinichi Sarihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. No, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Are you're the best, okay? Yeah, mm. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Dots. And what about you? Harukawa Maki, Chokokokyu no Hoikushi. She's really quiet, I guess. Ultimate child caregiver. She's like, she's like Paw Paw actually, because of the, the kitty cat mouth. You know, she seems really cat-like. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Eh? Eh? So well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. <laughs> but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then. Children must like you a lot, right? Yeah. Dots. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they can tell. Dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Yeah, it wasn't my choice to begin with. <gasps> I mean, if the kids just like cling to her, right? It's great. 
Like, she just got a job thrown at her, but mm, she doesn't really like it, then I guess not. Huh? What do you mean by that? Betsy. Nothing. Bonker. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Ne. Ah, by the way, do you know anything about the mono cubs? Oh, Gonta, yeah, yeah, Gonta. So, so. So, so. <laughs> yeah, someone who's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who that might be? So, ne. How would I know? Mm. Yeah, no one knows. Well, fair point. Hmm. The monocups are definitely involved in our situation. Choco. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have already figured out what's going on already? <coughs> yeah. uh, are there any traps? Well, I think that Suichi, this character, might be a girl. You know, he, he gets really freaked out whenever people touch his hat. And he seems really on edge whenever we ask him to go in the guy's bathroom. But he claims to be a guy. And he talks very femininely. So he might be a girl. Reverse trap. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything, silly. Come on. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Because <laughs> bald spot forehead. Where's the hat? Because the bald feels bad. Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's a good point. None of us actually thought of that before. Like, we just kind of were distracted by the dude saying he had a secret organization. So, I don't know. So if they won't end this, this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together, chat, by the power of friendship. And loving together. Huh? Work together. With strangers. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Friendship. I mean, that didn't really sound like friendship right there, but close enough. Whatever you say, Maki. Later. Our conversation finished. And she quickly headed out of the library. Mm. That was kind of odd. She didn't even seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Give her. Ma! Jeez, don't say that. Don't be a bully, Suichi, okay? She was great. Books, get the fuck out of here! I'm messy! Hello? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Thud. What's wrong? This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? Soka. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's sit somewhere else. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Is that it? Is that all we can do? I guess so. Let's head upstairs then. Mod. Alright. Ooh, wait a second. This opened up. Oh, we couldn't get through here before, right? It looks like the iron gate opened. Did something open it for us? Let's check it out. Oh, neat. Alright. Ooh! Oh! Oh, it's that character. It's the- it's the weird one. Hmm. Oh! Is this the entrance hall? Right. Suichi, this must be the entrance hall. Don't you think? <laughs> hmm. Mm. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yeah. Which means... <gasps> idea! <laughs> that door? must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? Yeah! <laughs> so, she's so, like, proud of herself. Kaede, you're the best. Yep. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Oh god, it's this character. Milzy, are you gay? No. Uni is my waifu, BTW. Uh, how does, what is this guy's voice? Worry, worry about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. Oh, uh, uh, you wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. 
超高校級の民族学者と呼ばれているよ。OK、モンカ S。Creepy Dude。c o r r e c i o Anthropologist? I forget what that means. I don't remember. Alright, what did Kanatori say? It? Force an E? What did I say? It could be a trap. Interesting. You need to die to a dick girl. You need to die to a dick girl. And an ending that never happened. It's a dude, though. Who are we talking about here? Please, just call me Kyo. As an anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I guess so. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and, and much more. There may be even customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Sounds really stupid to be studying. I mean, we just Google that shit, right? XD. But I guess we need anthropologists to make the web pages for Google. I guess. Yeah. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these throughout through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. I predict this first guy will be the killer simply because he's so creepy? Eh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Why would you study anything, forehead? Just get info from Google! Forehead, I'm, I'm obviously joking, but I mean, why would we learn about that stuff anyways? I'm kidding. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really, but it sounds like a lot of fun though. <laughs> yeah. So well, of course it's fun. It's just a study focused on humanity. It's I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Or if you're Taimu, infinite knowledge, dude. PMA chat. Oh, um. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? I'm really getting creeped out by this guy. I'm not liking it so much. I'm not. <laughs> People are so wonderful. Steki <laughs> Dasune! Oh, uh. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out he is a creep. Let's get the fuck out of here, boys. Anyway, well, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answer to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Oh god, he's talking about hope and shit. He is the first killer. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Hopefully he dies first? Oh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Friendship! Even though I really don't want to be friends with this person. But whatever. We got it. Dude, we got it. Let's see, let's see. The winner will get tea. Anything to interact with in here? Hello? No, we good? Let's go. Then, uh, let's go. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Mm. Friend him. Guys in masks are cute. <laughs> I mean, uh... Uh... <laughs> Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because... What if beyond is just... Oh, mom, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. I gotta. Uh, who are we missing? The artist and the maid and bugs. Dance game. Don't spoil him. Monka S. No, we played the demo. So we know the guys. We just... We know who's here, but their dialogue is a little different sometimes, you know. Kaide. Uh, don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. I psyched myself up, and with newfound strength, I walked boldly towards the doors. 
the demo does have some big differences from it, but some of the dialogue is the same. You know, it's been like a month since the last time I played it, so, you know, dialogue, bit different, forgotten a lot of it. Let's get that for a refresher. Upon opening the doors, we were, uh, uh, upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies. What? Bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... Holy shit, this, that's so different! Ori? Kabe? 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 What? This place is massive! Both worlds were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. Wow. Chord, I get it. Piano chord, ultimate pianist, he he xd. That's massive. Like, this place must be huge. I spent, what, two hours exploring just the school? What else is there here? The mere sight of this imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. Are you gonna stream for long? We'll see. I plan on streaming a little bit longer. Normally I'd be going offline in like, uh, an hour. I might go a bit longer, just depending. So long, oh my god. Like, no one could fit through that gap, eyes. I think it's, I think it's meant to be glass between the between the bars, right? I think that's what it's supposed to be. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. See, doesn't that sound like a girl's voice? I don't know. He's got a lot of lul. One. Nah. Alright. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. <laughs> he doesn't have any fingernails, silly. It's just paws. That's not a healthy way to react to a sister surprise! Bing, bing, does it. Biao. It's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. Is it because you lose all despair at the end of seeing it? I don't know. I don't know. I tried. <gasps> uh, end wall? Cherry. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Maybe we are in the same universe. Because outside would be the end of the world, right? If the crisis happened. What are you talking about? Hmm. What were we talking about? Was someone talking? Was I talking? Ha ha! Okay. Stop laughing and explain yourselves, Barkers. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it ends, so please, don't bother. You cannot get out of here. That wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. But can you dig under it? Trump's wall. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time, it's impossible. But they can still sorta climb it, huh? I guess so. I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone! Tuskate! Iku! Please! To Tuskate Kudasai! Someone! Anyone! Please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! Iku! Iku! I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Can I repeat, please? Aww. I can't repeat noises in this video game, dude. My meme. Please stop. You'll hurt your fur. So does it. Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. We're in space, by the way. No one 
can hear us. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Dot. Say something. Dot. One of you, just answer. Dot. Damn it, my heart. <laughs> Monodam is ignoring them excellently. Monodam is ignoring them excellently, cause he refuses to open his heart. What does that even mean? <laughs> Did I get spoiled? No. Are they still in? Are they in space? No. But it's like you know that old saying where it's like in space no one can hear you scream. I tried to meme. It didn't work out so well, evidently. <sighs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Hey, bullies! It's like this is Ampsy Chan right here, Mono Kid. Fearsome bullies. Now, now, let's get along. Shut up. We're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. What, what is this? Uh, I mean, they were in the Matrix in the second game, uh, so space is not so far-fetched. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. I just, I don't know anything about the game. I don't know anything. So if I say something, I'm just speculating. So, because I've stayed away from spoilers pretty well. But now that I stream this, spoilers BTW. Cops, if you didn't hear them, because I did, they were very loud. You things, this school, what is all this? You bastards, I'll have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. But please, watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Really? It seemed like it was kind of in disrepair than construction. Whatever you say, dude. You like to curb before, like, so everything is possible? Yeah. Under construction? I looked around. Hello? Oh, it was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Huh. But the Monokuma face is there. We haven't met Monokuma yet. Also, remember the secondary Junko and Danganronpa 3 Animu? She had a spaceship? She did have a spaceship. You're right. Monica. Yeah. She just went to space. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? Yep. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating and abandoning the school. Yeah, they built the wall first, you know, just like how Trump wants to do it. Build the wall first and then deal with our problems. Uh... Either way, the construction will finish soon. Once we set the exosols on autopilot. Uh, uh, exosols? Because we, they don't remember the Exosols. They were like giant robots. Like Evangelion shit. Even though I haven't watched Evangelion and I don't know if that's a topical reference or not. Once part of a biker gang, the Exosols now work construction to support their wives and kids. Hmm. Do, do robots really need that kind of backstory? I mean, it helps. It always helps. Their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. I mean, they kind of are, right? They kind of are. Bye, Kuma. And there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. Despair. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both cheeks. As my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. <laughs> Why do people do that? It feels stupid. Hey, Suichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. Dance. I slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. <laughs> abuse! We're abusing Nepgear, dude! Don't, don't abuse Nepgear. Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. 
We came in somehow. So, there has to be an exit. So, so. We may, may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually. Somehow. Through the power of friendship. Mm. Everyone just has to cooperate. And if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Don't stop me now, boys. Holy shit, it's space, man. Let's go. Okay, there's a log blocking us this way, but we can't go around the log for some reason. Alright, let's explore outside first. Let's Went go that way. talk to a space dude. But first, dormitory. Alright, space dude. Jeez, how'd they even make a wall? This big ass wall. Seriously, I just don't get it. Also, one of them is an astronaut, they are in space. Oh my god, this whole time. I just guessed and I got it right. Oh, right, Pong Champ. Maybe. Maybe they are actually in space. I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then. Oh, Boy. I was talking the wrong voice. Oi, what are you. What are you. Uh, what? Are you complaining? Huh? Eagle. Quit complaining and grumbling. Or to. Or to. It'll. Uh, or it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Huh? The, the universe? Space, boys, space. Oh. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. The ultimate astronaut. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, dude, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Oh wait, is that is that a space pattern on the inside of his jacket? There? That's really cool. That's a nice little 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 touch to his character design right there. I like it. <laughs> huh. Well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually still in tra training. So you're not an astronaut yet, are you? You're an astronaut in training. Oh, I see. Uh, so you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam, which is an accomplishment on its own, right? I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Eh? But then how did you take the exam? That's a good question. Uh, oh. I had a friend who was pretty crafty, and I had him forge some stuff for me. Uh, Mo, oh, it's illegal, Barker. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in some pretty, pretty deep shit. But the people uh, up top decided they liked me, and I mean, anyway, of course, I aced the exam too. So, yeah. I don't know what a practical astronaut exam would be. Would it just be a bunch of physics and stuff? No idea. Not everyone can get up there. Just get a spaceship. <laughs> it's a long process. I mean, it literally feels like anyone can get to space in the Danganronpa game. Monica did it. Monica just went to space. <laughs> Hello? The pout is so cute. It is. She's adorable. Th that's reckless. Oh. Sometimes, you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. Space, you know, it's not going anywhere, dude. You can you can take your time with it. You should have a lot of energy. Oh. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. Never give up, chat. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them for yourself. Yeah, yeah, motivation right there. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one, the big one over there. So, do you have any ideas? Don't, he doesn't have a single idea. That's not the problem. <laughs> no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. 
friendship. Nice. So, uh, all right, let's finish exploring outside, and then we'll go to the dormitories. Oh wait, no, I don't want to. Oh, bug guy. No, 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 no. Abort. We're not talking about bug. Actually, <sighs> we should just get it out of the way. We should just go talk to bug guy and get it out of the way really fast. So we can have Maid or Chan next. Dots. Whoa. This guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Ah, uh, no. Hey, excuse me. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Ha. Huh. Thank you. Oh, so sorry for scaring. Gonta's scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Sorry, I missed that. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. <laughs> no problem, Gonta. No worries. Um, th thank you for being so polite. Yes. Uh... He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, oh right. Gonta need make introduction. Gonta knows smart. Gonta Alright, Gonta. You can do it. You can get to your goals. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Aw, it's not. Eh? Uh, really? Thank, thank, thank you. Oh. <sighs> Aw, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not what I... Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was kid. Gonta. Every car name is one letter and the other color? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it means, but it must mean something, right? Since you were since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. The secret message is how old it is. Bullies! So Kid Gonta play alone. That how Gonta come to like bug. But when Gonta really focus, it easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bug. End up lost. <laughs> that sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah. Took ten <laughs> years! Gonta! <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. Took Gonta ten years to get out of the forest. <laughs> ten, 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 ten years. But, but Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Ah, uh, I, I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Feels good, man. Oh. Oh, no people. Wolves. What? <laughs> Wolves? I'm sorry, but I'm blocking. I'm blocking her. Um. Ah, ah. It's not an ahageo. What is it, chat? Ahoge? It's an ahoge. I'm blocking her ahoge. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh. I mean, that might be an ahageo. I, I mean, I didn't say anything. But, but they really nice. Cause the forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gonta want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 antenna. Yes. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Um... How is becoming a gentleman gonna thank them for that? I don't know. This place strange, huh? Lots of plant. No bug. 
Why? Why is he all the way over here? <laughs> he is just on the other side of the courtyard and doesn't want to be anywhere near Gonta. I understand. Gonta's scary. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. <gasps> you like bug too? Hey, what are your favorite bug? What do you what do you like about them? Uh, no, uh, I wasn't I wasn't saying that I I I, I like bug bug or anything. Uh, then you hate bugs. Yeah. You you hate bugs? Uh, um, you, you don't hate bugs. You you love them. You you love them, right, Suichi? <laughs> bug bug great. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course I do. I, uh, I l l l l love bugs. I love bugs. Dots. Oh, okay. That good. No bad person like bug. Friendship fragments. Oh, I don't want to be friends with you either. I, uh. <laughs> oh, that, that was that was so scary. Get the get the, the fuck out of here. Whew. Yeah, I thought you were dead. I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either. But it might be best to hide that. Yes, it would be. Run. That's just Hayakun. Hayakun! Alright, question mark, question mark, question mark. Shrine of Judgment, it says. Interesting. Oh, hey! I forgot about you. Everyone forgot about you. Who was this again? You were like, um, some hipster girl, right? Or whatever. Not hipster. Yaha! How are ya? I forgot. It's the chocolate of the video game, dude. I didn't. I said, where's the artist? <laughs> You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy, considering the situation we're in right now. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. Kami sama da yo. Aww. So says Atua. Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, uh. She's certainly devout. Neat. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Hmm. I do both. Oh, I, I said where is the artist? Oh, yeah, you did, Lekui Chen. You did, yeah, yeah, my bad. Hmm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atu was the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. <laughs> How divine! I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Mochi mochi! Mochi mochi! In return, will you make an offering? Oh boy! An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday mornings on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Um. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. So cool. I see. So, what about what about you then, Twitch chat? Huh? Are you gonna Are you gonna offer a pint or two of your blood every Monday or Tuesday? Uh. Huh? M me? Uh. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Hora, hora. Come on, come on! It won't hurt one bit. Uh. No, wait, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Don't run away. <laughs> Everyone's so insane, dude. This girl is so weird. <laughs> oh, okay, we can't run. I would like to offer blood in exchange for whispering and ear licking. Is the contract sealed? That would be a great arrangement. Whee! Legs! Uh, Alright, we're running as far away as we can. Let's go talk to Maido. Maido. The dorms. Dude. This building is round, and there's a lot of smaller rooms inside. Clyde. Very nice to see you again. <laughs> Why? Hello, bear. Oh my god. Huh? Even for number two? What? Do you shit in the shop? What? Wait, do you go number two in the shop? What is wrong with you? Oh, that's gross. Already figured out they're in space. Yeah. Alright, thanks, Monocoon Bears. You know, that was really. What, what do you mean? Our home? They mean for us to live here. See? There are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. Hmm. I mean, our paintings are above them, so. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. I mean. So, it won't hurt, right? I mean, I mean made off. I failed to see the objective. Huh? What do you mean? They are holding us for ransom. A large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather that they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Okay. Made is made is smart. Made might be the nep gear. Because our nep gear isn't that, you know. Smart. He hasn't really done much. Culprits, huh? Humma, humma. I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here. But why? What is the reason? They're killing games. Hey. Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. Her, Her voice is so good. Aww. Ultimate maid. Eh, so going. The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Ah, wait. I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. An ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. Neat! Private Tomedo! I heard that her work is so perfect, she can complete any request given to her. Eh? Eh? She's that amazing? Wow, we. That's pretty, that's pretty cool that she's like that good at her job. Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that on its own is pretty impressive. Yeah. Hey, do you want to like exterminate North Korea real quick? Nah, that's too hard. Can't do it. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to serve uh, to several foreign dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid. Not a bodyguard. I guess bodyguards are maids now, you know? Or well, maid jobs include bodyguard in duty. Interesting. Any request. You're looking included. Mm. Eh? Eh? But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Super maid. Moving on. What did you intend to do now? That's a tough question. Um, wh wh what should we do? Well, what do you want to do, Kirumi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. Uh, say it. Let's see. 
Let's see if we can make her say it. I can't. I can't repeat any dialogue? No. No, I think the maid will be a kill. I think I think the maid will be a kill, not that she will kill Gonta or Robot. I don't care what that means, I haven't watched any of this doing homework. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself, and what you desire from me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Oh hell yeah dude, feels good man, feels good man. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Oh, she is the ultimate maid after all. Friendship! Kurumi support card has been updated. Oh, she gone. Oh, that's everyone. Hey. I still have one more place to check out. No. I'll check it out later. Was that the bell? Oh. Kaine. Kaine, look. The monitor. I can think of one. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not Monokuma. Hi. Thanks for bearing with us. Dots. Samara. Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Yes. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <laughs> the opening ceremony can finally begin. <sighs> Phew, we finally finished our preparations. Ah. You didn't realize you just read out your lines backwards, don't you? Bye, Kuma. Bye, Kuma. Being 2D is all that matters? Yeah. Gym? Opening ceremony? Kaide, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. Yeah, dude, we gotta go. We gotta see what's up. We gotta see, you know, everything. It'll all be Daijobu. I'm sure they're just holding us, you know, a nice little welcome ceremony. There'll be some snacks, you know, a nice little time to chit chat with the others. It'll be great. It'll be great. Dude, do you even holographic principle? <laughs> I don't know what that means. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Let's check out our room. I don't plan on staying. Okay, fine. Don't even want to check it out, do you, Kaide? I like your optimism, though. It's great. All right. Hello, hello. Is this where it all kicks off? All 16 of us have gathered. Hmm. hmm. It's pretty spectacular seeing 16 of us ultimates gather together. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Sumugi stopped thinking. 200 IQ right there. You you can't. You, there's no use thinking about it. So why think at all? Uh, yeah. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Jito. Hmm. Nanja. What? What are you looking at? Yamino-san. Um, Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Cause you're psychic and stuff. Yeah. Mahoja. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Barker, silly, getting them confused. <coughs> ah, that's so amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. God damn it. Her faces are never cute. She started out so cute with that design and stuff, and it's all downhill from here. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Um. Talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Are there any lollies in this game? Yeah, the Megumin lolly. Masa. I mean, deadly. Right here. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Just don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Phew, that's a relief. 
Is your brain full of weeds or something? Oh my god, I'll whack him out of that thick skull of yours! Please, no physical violence, Iruma. No physical violence. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me, dude. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their asses. All of them. Five of them, all of them. Huh? What that? Hello? Hmm. What's wrong? Listen. Hear that? Doing it right now? Cool. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, I think it sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Oh, it's this scene again. Here we go. Matane. Okay, hello. Hey. Rise and Earthshine. <laughs> Everyone, behind Gaunter. What, 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 what the heck are these monsters? <laughs> oh, Suge. Sorry, I'm tipsy. No worries, okay? <laughs> like Chan. They're exercise. Highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. They got lots of hometown pride, too. I can't keep track of these backstories. Yeah, I've, I've lost track of all these backstories. Whatever they are, they better kill off the, the, the Ugos and save me for last. The Ugos? Okay, Miu. She's adorable, by the way. Oi! Run! Kimiko! Why are you cons Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <laughs> yeah, Kaito. You did say that, silly. Miu is some big opai. Yeah, dude. She's also adorable. Even the monocubs have it. Yeah, it's weird. But it, the monocubs is just M. The M is just capitalized, I'm pretty sure. Well, what the hell? N no, nobody told me all the, about these. No, 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 no. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the Exosols. I mean, he is right. He is right. We would all be dead if they wanted to kill us already. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something. And if we don't, we get hurt. Well, you have our attention. So now what do you want? I mean, I don't think they want... I think they're just showing off power, you know. But Rantaro is definitely the new Hope Man. Yeah, dude. Huh. Well, aren't you a wise guy? I'll start us off. Listen here. What we want is you punk asses to do. Dots. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going a hundred miles an hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah. It's uh... <laughs> Monodam said something, dude. He got in the he got in the bullying on the bully. Fuck you, Mono kid. Let's go, Monodam. Eh? <laughs> Monodam, how dare you upstage me? <laughs> Wait a second. What did you say? If I heard him correctly... Killing game. Monodam, coming in hot, dude. Just straight up, no beating around the bush. Just killing game. Oh, he, he said it. He said it, chat. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. God damn it, Monodam. I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. Oh, come on. We don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. You know, yeah, dude. We gotta be relaxed. Good, calm. And, uh, the kill. Killing and stuff. Uh. Yeah! If you don't stop this fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. Mm. You too, Montaro. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here Exosol. <laughs> We're all just killing each other now. It's turned into a killing game between the mono kids, and not a killing game between the students or the ultimates, whatever. Hey, 
Why are you including me? Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. I thought this was a slice of life. Feels bad. You wanna go, jabroni? Jabated? <laughs> Who you calling jabroni? <laughs> jabroni? Oh, they're talking. My bad. They're just calling each other jabronis, dude. Jabated. We've gone full on Jersey Shore here, dude. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get it on right in front of us. Kami-sama! Like to watch BTW? Or else? <gasps> Gasp! <gasps> Hello? Hello? Who is that? Huh? Nani? This. It's the Monokuma. It's the head honcho. Father! Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! Daddy! Where are you, Daddy? Oh god, that sounds weird when I say it like that. <gasps> d d d daddy mm. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. I love these little pan sh panning shots in with everyone. Oh, hey! The angel Monokuma, because he's back from the dead and stuff. I like it. Daddy, not Mama. Oh yeah, not Mama for Junko. That's weird. Interesting. But but Monokuma is a dude, right? Like the robot identifies as a dude, I guess. I don't know. So, Monokuma da yo. Omaera, domo hajimemashite. Is that the same voice actor? Because the other the voice actor from the demo was different, right? Why? Yay! Father's here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. Daddy is so cool. Dots. My cute little cubs. You're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is cause you're all so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. Yeah, didn't someone say the original VA died or something? Yeah, I think someone did say that when I was playing the demo. I don't know. I didn't look that up after stream. I just kind of took his word on it, so I don't know. Yeah. In fact, the very first prologue was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. Oh, oh yeah. Pops, uh, are, you, are you mad at us, Pops? He is. Yeah, look at him. Look at him shaking with anger there. He's literally Monokuma Swap. Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> he is mad. But... But daddy is so cool, even when he's angry. Daddy? Pops is from the planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally, Super Monokuma 4. <laughs> I'm not mad, dude. Not mad. Yeah! Uh. Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma when you want to fuck the world, shit up. Okay. 
せやけど神と神の戦いにふさわしい迫力やで。Oh, I need. とにかく。Anyway, I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. Yeah, dude, I'm proud of them too, Kappa. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. I mean, maybe not in this universe. Who knows? I can't think of any though. DB super jokes? Yeah, dude. This has just become the abused and mono kids section. I'm okay with this. He knows everything. Infinite knowledge, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names and fake news? Hello? Is that, that's like the most topical reference yet. Hello? Uh, that's gotta be like, they gotta change it from the Japanese, right? To make it sound better in English. Heh, I love embracing my children. They're just so cute. I can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. It's him. But in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to the cute mono cubs. And not because it's uh, the third game in a series that said it wasn't making any more games. Couldn't be that reason at all. What is this? What, what is going on? The teddy bear appeared. Yeah. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it, the despair, and the madness swirling around that cursed thing. Ida, Ida. Well, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Maybe they recycled some of the older lines and the new ones or a different VA, don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Weird. Okay. And show some respect, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Maybe. Headmaster. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with an AI built in, like me. Chimpong! Dong, dong, dong! Hey, we have a winner! The exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. They're mindless, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the mono cubs. Oh, okay, I thought they were like their own entity. But I guess they're like controlling it from the inside. Wait, autonomous robot piloting weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. To you, Well, that may be. But what I'm worried about is this killing game you've mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Well, you see, it's a game where we kill each other. I think it might be a little self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> what is so amusing? Yeah. It's just, when I said it before, I just kind of phoned it in and out, and now I feel awkward. I want you students, with your ultimate level talents, to participate in a killing game. Darts. <laughs> killing game? Us. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? I mean, they never. Monokuma never stopped them from not participating in the killing game before, right? He just kept adding, like, motivation in. And there was even an ending in Danganronpa 1 where, uh. We just, um. What was it? We just, like, lived our life at the school. And it was fine. Of course not. Gentlemen not hurt people. But if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You couldn't escape it to the outside world. As long as we have the exosols, you can't defy us. 
We gotta destroy those exosols, dude. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. That's pretty feels bad, man, right there, dude. So, do what you say if we don't want to die. You, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? I mean, I can definitely see uh, Tenko killing a degenerate male in her opinion, but not any females, you know. We're friendly. Feels good, man. Are you, are you? Who said you guys were friends? It's a good question. You guys aren't friends at all. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Your enemies out to kill each other. Uh, uh, en enemies? What? Did that sound like um, the voice there went to the new character? I don't know. I don't know. We're enemies? Hmm, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodam to relieve the stress. Oop. Dots. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Neither. Uh, the daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a, a rock, paper, scissors tournament? Instead, yeah. <laughs> Who'd wanna play a game when no one dies? That's a good point. Uh. Well, you don't have a compassionate personality. It's cute. I can barely stand it. Why? It's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I wanna eat it. Eh? Nah. Hey, monofunny. You might want to dial back the cute stick a little bit. Dots. What? Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask you something. Mm. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? Why are you so okay with this? Why are you okay with this? Do you want to wait until he's like fully explained it before going out there and saying, Hey, I'm down with killing people. <laughs> what, what, what the hell, man? What are you asking? Rethink your life. Okay? We need to get the info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. I mean, that is fair, but you should have gone about that in a different way is all I'm saying, you know what I mean? Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. The killing game. It's quite the refined and sophisticated experience. Oh, huh? sophisticated experience. We'll be drinking tea with our pinkies up next, dude. It's because his soul is already dead. Feels bad, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's already dead inside. So sophisticated experience. So, so. Yes. Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class, class trial. Class trials. I'm losing my fucking voice. Class trials. Hi! Hi, Dessu! Ano ne, Samara no aida de satsujin ga okita bai, zen member ga sanka suru gakkyu saiban ga okonare run da yo. Right, so like the other games? Gakkyu saiban de wa satsujin o okashita kuro to, sore igai no hoka no seito no shiro ga taike tsuri ya. The shiro? Uh, they said, I think they said instead of spotless classmates, they said they're white classmates. Cause Shiro? I don't know though. この学級裁判の場で黒は誰かを貴様らに議論してもらうんだよ。で、その後の投票タイムで多数決によって導き出されたことへが正解だった場合は、さあ殺人を犯した黒だけがお仕置きされて。<笑> P-p-punishment. Alright. Yeah, so basically like the other games here, nothing really new. 
もし学級裁判で間違った人物を黒に選んでしまった場合は、didn't like the other games have some like animation going on in the background or at least like different scenes. This feels kind of weird. 罪を逃れた黒だけが生き残って。And that means dots. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh ho ho! A woo! A woo! Where's the cat girl? Hello? Is every Monokuma Toko now? Hello? Put that tongue back in your mouth, Mono Toko. Hello? Ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive. Just be like your old man. Gross. Tell him, Himuko. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. Oh, was he talking about just like murder in general? Oh, I thought he was talking about like the other games or whatever. Eh, feel feels bad. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Anosa. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Simply put, it's an execution. A execution. Gasp! This is the same CG. If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. Oh, he's talking. Yeah, it's death. Oh, I wonder what kind of punishment there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging bone. <laughs> oh, okay. Wantaro said he knew what was going on in the beginning, no? Yeah, he did know what was going on. I guess that they erased his memory. Remember, he is the only one that can't remember his talent, right? So, you know... Maybe they erased too much with him. Eh? Eh? Mono kid, you already have a boner? Hello? Yeah, I'm so hard right now. Blood, brain. Wow, Mono and just puked. Family friendly, by the way. Family friendly. I'm so freaking hard. <laughs> huh? Puke gives you a boner too? All this dick talk, hello? You kids are just so adorable. Huh? What the hell's cute about that? Hello? All right, I'm over on this boring exposition. Let's let's get this heart-pounding, killing school semester started already. Waku waku doki doki. That is a different voice actor. I can hear it now. The beginning sounded similar, but now this sounds like a different voice actor. Meh, those are all good examples. Rap God, by the way. Yes. No, we all have to work together, dude. We all have to come together and hug it out, boys. The only way we can win. That's all. Killing school semester. 
It's like a game. Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. Hey, uh, how can you degenerate to be so calm, huh? This, this has to be a lie, right? It's a lie. It's a lie, right? No, it is not a lie. A lie? More like fiction. Like a story on TV, or like a video game! A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it is happening. Uh, I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I... I'd never do that. Well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's a gonna be a problem. Cause the killing game is the only reason you're here. Uh? Eh? N Nani? I mean, like, yeah, but are they broadcasting it to everyone? Yeah. Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Uh, Mo, Shusho Tomate Kurasai. Oh, yeah? Hmm? No matter what you say, we we won't do it. Yeah, Kaide. Kaide, tell him. We're better than this. We have hope. H-O-P-E. We will not fall into despair, Monokuma. We, we will never participate in a killing game. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it, Barker. Kaide, you shouting just rashly defy that thing. No. No. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is more important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh. What, what do you mean by that? I mean, you know what he means, right? You know what he means. Uh, wouldn't it be funny to be a killer and DR do the perfect crime? That would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. We never, we've never seen the, the person that can actually try and pull off the ultimate crime. But remember, we are hope. So we have to be hope. You know, mass is actually Toko. Monk ass. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game. Especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it is my job to force you to do it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Dots. Hope man was close to perfect crime? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of the Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Hey, the intro time now. Time to skip, right? Skip for. I really like the designs and stuff. The, uh, um, the the all the Japanese kanji coming together to the truth bullet and stuff, and whatever that means. Just can't read it though. Kaide, waifu, kappa. Keep was cool, but Maid Maid Chan is adorable. Like, hands down, one of the better ones. He's cool. Double Hope Man is nice. Doo, 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 doo. Suichi, the nep gear of the game. And, uh, Cosplay Girl. Really sounds like, um, the water, right? Ayo, bug guy. Eh, the general male guy. I like him. He sounds silly. Maki. Uh, creepy. Lolly. Megumin. Hmm. Chocolate V3 now. And uh, she's also doable, like second best girl or something. It's so quiet, I don't know why. Manokuma. 
My guess is for the final five, the astronaut, the detective, the maid, and the one that lost his memory, and the MC. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But the chalk chocolate always ends up being last five, right? Chocolate's gotta end up last five. They always do it. Yeah, dude! The beginning is over. Next stop, chapter one, boys. I'm so excited to actually get into it. You know, ultimate revival. And yeah, dude. Yeah, that was a good. It was a good prologue. Most of it was the same as the demo, but uh, it's still really fun. You know, good little refresher course there. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles Badge. Alright, do you want to save? Yeah, dude. Alright, let's make a new save. Prologue, start point. This is going to be chapter one start point. Just in case if I uh, lose, like, progress on something. It'll be all daijoubu. Anyways, chat. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the first Danganronpa stream. I feel like this is a good point to end it right now. You know, we got uh, we got pretty far. Uh, the first chapter, four and a bit hours. And I feel like if we go a little bit further, I don't want to play for like another hour and a half. And, uh, you know, I feel like we'll better do it tomorrow. So, that's the end of the stream today.